The first part of the Six for Grades corruption trial involving the law professor has ended on a dramatic note. Professor Tae Sun Hang started hyperventilating in court during the re-examination of the prosecution's 13th witness. The 41-year-old faces allegations of obtaining gifts and sex from former student Ms. Doreen Koh in return for giving her better grades. Claire Huang reports. More accusations and drama unfolded on day 9 of Tae Soon Hang's corruption trial. The day started with Tae trying to poke holes at the testimony of the deputy director of the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, Ting Ki Fat. Describing it as a kind suggestion, Tae claimed Mr. Ting had advised him not to engage a lawyer or let his colleagues know about the investigation so that the matter won't be blown up as it would be disadvantages if this happened. This allegedly took place during one of Tay's conversations with Mr. Ting in May last year. But Mr. Ting said that is not true. Tay also told the court that the three statements recorded last May were taken under duress, that he was still taking his psychoactive medication then. But Mr. Ting disagreed. Tay also accused Mr. Ting of making threats in Hokkien and Mandarin, which the witness denied. Shortly after the trial resumed in the afternoon, Tay's lawyer, Peter Lowe, asked for a short adjournment as his client wasn't feeling well and was hyperventilating. For more than 30 minutes, Tay was seen seated in the dock, breathing heavily and also vomiting saliva into a plastic bag. Several times during the hearing, Chief District Judge Tan Seong Tai reminded Tay to focus. At one point, he told Tay that more irrelevance was creeping into his line of questioning. The trial resumes on 1st April and is expected to last three weeks.